Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. <laughs> okay, all jokes aside. Let's see what's going on for you guys. This is going to be from December the 17th through the 31st. We want to see what's going on with you guys in love. And what other messages do we have? All right, so... This is Sun, Moon, and Rising Aquarius. So if you if you have a moon or rising in Aquarius, you can watch this video too. All right. So what messages do we have for Aquarius? Oh, bottom of the deck, guys. We have wedding. Wedding. All right, so this situation involves wedding. So someone could be married or something to that nature. You could be involved with someone that's married. Um, you could be getting married. You can already be married, okay? Oh. Whoa. All right, Aquarius. Y'all playing. What additional messages? I gotta pull a cup to clarify this first for y'all, cause y'all, <laughs> y'all energy. I'm not. I gotta see. What additional messages? What's going on with Aquarius? What's going on with Aquarius? Y'all, yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys. Past energy here. We got release your ex. We got release your ex. It's time to clear your space. So some of you guys have decided to release someone or there's someone you're thinking about releasing or you already released it because it was past energy. Present energy, we have true love. All right, so this is the romance of a lifetime and for future energy, we have playfulness. So to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Hmm, interesting. Wow. 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 Some of you guys, at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have King of Cups. There could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio involved, but, or someone could be trying to express themselves or tell you how they feel or be nice. Someone's possibly like trying to be nice. Um, but I feel like you had the courage to let somebody go. You let somebody walk out. You release someone. And that was past energy. We have the strength card. There could be a Leo involved. But this is also having the courage. And this is the courage to walk away from the situation. Okay? With this eight of cups. Some of you guys chuck the deuces up on somebody and got ghosts. Or this could be vice versa. But I feel like someone walked away. Presently, we have true love. So this is the romance of a lifetime. We have the tower card here. There could be a Scorpio involved. There could be a Sagittarius involved. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I do feel like... I feel like the, the thought of this being a true love was shattered. And I'm sensing that you feel as if you took a risk. Uh, or there's a sense of wanting some type of new a new start, a new beginning. Something this happened possibly happened all of a sudden. This came from out of nowhere. But going into the near future, guys, with playfulness, we have the star card. This is the card of Aquarius. But I feel like things could be on hold because someone is has their guard up or someone is feeling afraid or stuck. Like, I'm not sure. I'm going to wait to see if I should, you know, flirt a little bit or, or play a little bit. Let me see first. Why is the Eight of Swords here? Oh, this one to jump out. <laughs> Three of Wands. Waiting and planning, too, with this Two of Wands. And I really do sense a lot of you guys are dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah. 
There's lots of waiting here. Feeling stuck too. Maybe not knowing how to recapture that playfulness energy. Let me pull some more cards for y'all. Let's see what's really going on with these Aquarians. <laughs> All right. What additional messages do you have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising. This is for the 17th of December to the 31st. What additional messages do you have for Aquarius? What additional messages do you have for Aquarius? Six of Pentacles. This is generosity or give and take. Someone wants to get, wants to give or, or there's a, a feeling of wanting things to be mutual. Oh, wow. Someone could be hiding that they're, that they were in a relationship or they're married. Some of you guys are dealing with Capricorn, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I'm getting Capricorn really, really hard too. You guys are feeling stuck going into the near future. Maybe it's how to not being put first. Because I feel like there's a secret here. Why is the moon card here? Why is the moon card here? All right. Okay. The eight of cups. Let's see what I have here. There could be a Taurus involved as well. Why is the hyphen here? The death card. This is the end of a commitment. This is the challenge. Um, I feel like there could someone could be hiding something. I feel like some of you guys are hiding something. I feel like some of you guys are just tired of not being put first and feelings of, you know, I can do this by myself with this ace of pentacles and this nine of pentacles in the, in the present energy. I'm sorry, in the past energy, this is being well off and, and being able to take care of yourself and being independent. But I feel like there's a sense of still being stuck going into the near future, waiting for um, waiting around to see if someone's going to put someone out or waiting to see if there's going to be a rejection. Why is the five of pentacles here? Or waiting to see if they're going to need you. Why is the five of pentacles here? Yeah, I feel like this to me is waiting to see if the, how they're going to need you. How are you going to be an assistance to them? And I feel like that's why some of you guys are feeling going to be feeling stuck because it could be in a, situ a situation to where they normally need you for this or they normally need you for that. And you're just waiting around to see, if it will, okay, you'll be back because you, you need me. We're going to do a past, present, and future. And then I want y'all to tell me what's going on in the comment section. Aquarius. Aquarius. Give me past, present, and future for Aquarius. For... The month of December. All 
All right, we got closing up of a chapter here with this world card. Hmm. I'm really, really sensing that someone could possibly be married or living with somebody. Oh, okay. Whoa. Whoa, guys. Okay, past energy. I feel like this is of making, possibly like wanting to make someone regret a relationship or some type of partnership or some type of bond here. Present energy, someone could definitely be married. And it's like, you could be feeling like, stop watching my house or stop stalking my house. I don't know if someone is stalking you or always coming at you about something about your home life. But I do feel like you're going to be trying to stay in control. And even if it, if it involves stretching the truth here, but keeping everything, keeping your, keeping control over the situation. I'm not sure. I'm just getting like somebody is stalking, but I haven't got the stalking cards. Normally, I get the page of swords when somebody is, you know, peeping or stalking. But I'm just really, really getting like someone's watching somebody's house. And you want them to stop watching your house. Why is the death card here? Someone could be being real childish, real immature behavior and feeling like I'm not a child. I don't need you to, I don't need you to protect my house. I don't need you to watch over my house. Why is the seven of swords here? Some of you guys are like feeling like you got to stretch the truth just so you can stay in control. Or some of you guys are going to be being, you know, kind of selfish and um, putting yourself first. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section. <laughs> Aquarius, y'all did it for me. All right, guys. If you guys would like to book a personal reading with the Empress, I'll leave information in the drop box below. All right. So contact me if you're ready to book a personal. All right. Ciao for now.